Hi YouTube, it's your girl Simply Love and I'm here to do a reading for you. Um, this is not going to take too long. I'm just going to get into it because of uh, the full moon we have in Aries and I suggest you guys go out if you got crystals, go out tonight, you know, even if it rains, you know, you got umbrellas, you got hats and things like that. Or it just gaze out of your window as well. And if you have any crystals, go ahead and put those on the win um, windowsill next uh, where the moon is shining at and just gaze, you know, and um, this is an exciting moon. You all know about it. A lot of you all know about it. I don't have to really get too much into it. If you don't know about it, you can always look it up. But it's a very important moon to have uh, if you decide to go out and moon gaze. Okay? It's very fast action. It's like it's like an excitement about this moon. Um, you know your ancestors, your friends, family members who's crossed over. You know they're all looking after you. They're all part of that moon. So get out there and ask what you want. Meditate. Uh, think about what it is because this is all about new beginnings, new starts, okay? Um, a lot of you can fee are already feeling that energy of like excitement. Okay, so we're going to start out about um, um, Sag Sagittarius uh, uh, with your goals. So we're going to ask spirit and your um, and ancestors what are you know what's the goals or what do they see for you or what's going on around you when it comes to your goals in life. Whether it be um, love, ma uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter whatever it is. Okay. So you got one that's on the floor here, and it's like progress. So you know, this talks about things moving in. You know, moving um, slowly but surely. You know, progressions, one step at a time. Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, if you want to hear, this is um, the moon gazing. Um, it's on. It's going to be on my playlist. It's my. It's the moon gazing meditation sounds. I'll put it on my playlist and list it below. You can go ahead and listen to it as you're moon gazing tonight. Okay. So you know, it's steady progress for you guys. Okay. That's what they see far as your goals. It's going to be nice and steady. A steady progress there for your goals. So take it easy, you guys, because you are progressing um getting that full moon tonight and you know and ask your uh angel guys to stand by you with at this progression make sure everything goes nice and smooth because it says steady steady progression so that's you know one step at a time don't give up all right don't give up sagittarius okay now let's see about your health got three cards came out here but they're saying no that's not it okay for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, what about their health? What do you want them to know about their health? What should they do regarding their health? Where are they at regarding their health? Okay, here we go. We got prayer works. Dear God, our angel Raphael, thank you for uh, hearing and answering my prayer of whatever it is. You guys fill that part out. So this is, you know, this is talking about prayers, affirmations, you know, and thanking your guardian angels here. Okay. And another one fell out here and it's, it talks about uh, give us your care. So, you know, prayers and give them your you know give it up turn it loose okay don't hold this in Sagittarius if you got some things that you're holding in don't do that because it can disturb your health now I'm not looking at this as being anything negative I'm looking at this as being something positive because this is saying your angel gods are saying that they're here you got angel Raphael saying you know fill in the blank about what it is that you're thankful for or what you want here and they're there to help you and um, you know the it, prayers and affirmation does work for you guys Sagittarius so there you go with that don't forget it now all I used um, far as your career wise I, I just picked out the Pentacles because the Pentacles talks about money and then I used the major arcana cards as well and then that's it okay as far as your career so let's see what's going on with your career Sun, Moon, rising Venus sign for Sagittarius spirit what do you see for their career what's going on with their career what is sign of Sagittarius <clears throat> Get back to do your 
monthlies as well. I don't know if it'll be today though. <laughs> And I put out another video when I'm going to be, um, to, uh, the end of the month, I'm going to be releasing the people that um, emailed me regarding the uh, prizes that I had. So I switched it from the middle of the month to the end of the month. And that's what I'm going to put out the video who won. And, you know, all I need is your address or address where you want me to send them at. And thank you all who participated and emailed me and, and all that. I really appreciate it. Thank you all who purchased my cards. I've been getting the overwhelming. Um, <laughs> it's almost like I can't keep up with it. But I also want you guys to know, you know, give it some time about maybe 10 days at least because I don't, you know, carry those with me. I have to send them off to the printing company and then they print them and then they send them to me and then I send them out to you. So, you know, there's a process there with that. So, you know, please bear with me. And give me up to at least 10 days. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, so... Um, the seven of pentacles here for some of you Sagittarius is I feel like maybe you're not happy at a current job that you in or some of you may have lost a job or you know or feel like you're losing a job or you may not be happy at a current job that you are at it depends on who we're talking to out there yeah the seven of pentacles um, I feel like some of you may be waiting on a call you know, maybe you're waiting, you put in the work, you may have put in the work, um, you know, putting in applications, calling people, putting your resume out there, and you're just waiting to see. But don't look at it as being a failure, okay? Because this is all, you know, for something for new beginnings. You already put in the work. I feel like some of you may be tired of waiting around if you if you're fit in this category that you lost a job or don't have a job or you feel like a failure at a job. Just hang in there because here you go, here's the sun. So you you know, I feel like, you know, you guys keep it up, hang in there for some of you who is in this situation where you feel like it's a failure when it comes to work or you put in so much hard work and effort at a job and you don't feel like you're appreciated. Or, you know, whatever the scenario may be, if some of you may have lost a job, something like that, remember that, you know, the sun is out. The sun will come out. You will be happy, okay? But just hang in there is all you need to do. And I don't know who, whoever that message resonates with. There you go. Okay, now we're going to look at your love. Okay, Spirit, what do you see for love for, uh, for Sagittarius? This is just a little snippet here, okay? Okay, for love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Sagittarius. What fell out for you is um, unequated love, unequited love. Okay, for some of you, you may have broken up with somebody that you've been married to or in a long-term relationship. It just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, period. That's how I'm looking at this situation. It was like, you know, you try and try and try with someone and it's just not working out it just keeps you know the same situation or same scenario keep playing out over and over again it's like you know spinning your wheels here i'm feeling for a lot of you and you're tired of it so spirit is trying to tell you you know it's you know don't put too much more energy into it you know focus on something new focus on yourself focus on loving yourself so you can get out of this unequated unequated love some of you may be going through divorce some there's some I feel like there's somebody who keeps trying to hang in there with you and you're like I'm you know I'm done I'm tired of this because there's just not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this to keep it going for some of you so for some of you you know unacquitted means unacquitted means like it's just not going to work out no matter what you do okay it's not in the stars or the universe for you guys which for some of you who this relates to it, it ain't happening and it involves children you know um, you may have children by this person who is unacquitted some of you may be married to this person that's unacquitted love here and it does have children your love life uh, is being affected by children you could be a baby mom a daddy you know however it may be it could be you know and children are involved in this situation 
of unacquainted love. But like I said, get out there tonight um, and, you know, moon gaze. If you have your crystals, take them with you too. You know, if it's raining, take an umbrella. If you're not, just look out the window and have your crystals and have your meditation music or whatever. Just gaze at that moon and, you know, and, and, and learn to love yourself. Learn to love yourself. Don't take out any... I'm hearing, don't take out any of your, uh, aggra any aggravations or don't let anybody else take out their aggravation on the children because children are innocent. You know, they don't, they didn't ask to be here. And I'm hearing that somebody's using a child to try to hold on to someone. I'm hearing that too. So be careful of that energy because it's just, it's not going to work. I don't care what you do. All right. And I don't mean to be negative or, you know, it's just the energy that's coming in from spirit, not me. I'm just a messenger. No matter if you try to have children by this person, if you're with this person, you try to have children with them to hold on. It's just not going to work. Even if you do have children with this person. Okay. Okay. So that's it. That's your love. That's your reading for, um, you know, coming into October, um, just a little review there uh, on an all-around way. I will be coming back out with your love reading, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. You take care. Bye.